Hey, this is Brendan. I'm going to show you how to make binaural beats for free in under five minutes that you can either listen to as isochronic tones or use in the background of music or videos. So to do a little background, binaural beats are sine waves that are created by playing one frequency in the left ear and one frequency in the right ear. When these two waves come together and bounce off each other, the difference creates a brainwave state. Your brain is always operating at one of these brain states, a delta, theta, alpha, beta, or gamma, and these are all in between these certain ranges. So for example, theta waves are a difference of frequency of four to eight. So it says for REM sleep, deep relaxation, meditation, and creativity. So all of these um, your body tunes to those different frequencies on a daily basis to to act in different ways, you know. So with like beta, focused attention, cognitive thinking, problem solving, it's they're all normal states of being. And so the Sofeggio scale is a scale of frequencies that are often referenced as like healing uh, frequencies. The most common would be 528 hertz or like the love frequency so to get into the video and to create the base 528 hertz tone go to audacity search audacity go to audacityteam.org it's a free download download it um your download will begin in one second so I'm downloading the file. It's downloading up here. Go to your downloads folder, double click it. I'm going to run the file. So after double clicking on the file, it'll say select setup language English. I press OK. This will install Audacity on your computer. Next, it's only 67 megabytes, so it doesn't take much space. Install. Finish launch audacity. And so all you are going to do, this is a music like creator and editing program. So you're going to go to generate and then tone. And it already has selected the wave sign form, the sign wave form. So say we wanted to do a uh, 528 Hertz in audacity. And we wanted to do it as a theta state. So that, that's four to eight hertz in frequency difference. Let's do six. Let's do 522 uh, as a generated tone. So now we have the first track right here is audio one. That is the first tone. So then we're going to press add mono track. And so now we have audio two generate tone. And now 528 plus six, we're going to do 534. And then generate that right there. And if you press play, it's just going to be like an annoying uh, straight frequency. For example, it doesn't sound great. You're going to take the topmost one, go all the way to the left with the audio, and go all the way to the right with the second one. And it won't sound much different, but basically, each tone's playing only on one side, so they're bouncing off each other. If you're wearing headphones, you'll be able to um, realize that quicker. But basically, all you're going to do is go to export and export as you can either do an MP3 or a WAV, but a WAV file, I believe, um, is higher quality. Save your WAV file. I'll do 528 hertz. I already did 528 hertz at 4. So I'm going to do 528 hertz at 6. And so now, there you go. You have your binaural beat. And now you can overlay that as a layer in an audio, um, if in a music program. Or you could overlay it uh, underneath at, at a very low volume on a, on a video. But yeah, you don't, want, you don't want it to be too loud. But just like the subliminal sound does its effect when you are listening to a, a tone like this your actual brainwave state will start to align over 
I, I've heard before it takes about seven to eight minutes and you will start to like align with that frequency that you're hearing. So yeah, that's all. You can save the project or close it. It doesn't really matter. As long as you have the WAV file, you're good. But yeah, thanks for watching. I, I like to use these and overlap them with other music like synths and you can create some very great sounding and great feeling music. So thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day.